independently of any particular objects, places, or situations. It is thus our capacity to engage our consciousness with form, or rather, spirit, which is the emergence of unity as the first dimension of human consciousness. In becoming conscious of form, we become conscious of unity, as form is that which unifies in a duplicity. That which is unified by spirit may be separate, yet not distinct, as various instances of spirit are seen to share in oneness, which is more fundamental than any separation through what we would understand as time and space. As we shall see, the magical structure itself is a form of consciousness which is both spaceless and timeless, in the sense that space and time are not available as dimensions within which magical consciousness can bring beings within the world into relation. Magical consciousness, being unidimensional, understands reality as spirit, within which space and time are not seen to be present. Through this emergence of symbolic consciousness, the magical structure of consciousness thereby comes to be born. Unfortunately, symbolic thought and spoken language do not directly leave behind fossils or artifacts. <laughs> But if we wish to attempt to put this transformation on a historical timeline, we can at least look to evidence of artifice among our distant ancestors as an approximate indication of when the emergence of magical consciousness may have occurred. <laughs>